I'm here at the reconstruction of the Parker Fort near Grosbeck, Texas. And uh, we're going to take a look at the way frontier forts were built uh, to help provide defense for settlers or even military forts might have been built in similar ways uh, to give protection to the military. Now, as we look at this fort, the first feature you notice on each of the two corners of the fort, let's pan around to the other opposite corner, are blockhouses. The purpose of the blockhouse is to give defense and keep enemies from getting near the walls. If you notice, there's little openings all along the edges of the blockhouse where they can shoot out without being exposed to enemy fire. Also along the walls themselves, there's small openings and benches where they can get up on the walls and fire through at the enemy without exposing themselves to fire. Now, the idea of the blockhouse on the corners, there's one on the two opposite corners of the compound, is if you're up in the blockhouse, you're able to shoot down the length of both walls. So, from this side of the blockhouse, any enemies approaching this wall can be fired at from this blockhouse. Any enemies approaching this wall can be fired out also from this blockhouse and the blockhouse on the opposite side could do the same thing for the opposite two walls. In addition to that, and go outside the little spring gate here. This is the gate they used to get to the spring. Also the direction that some of them escaped when they were attacked by Indians. On the bottom of the blockhouse, there are openings where they can shoot down at any enemies that are trying to gather below the blockhouse for protection. The walls of the fort are tall enough that enemies cannot easily get over the top of. Now, of course, the big weakness for a fort is it is made of wood on the frontier, and that wood be susceptible to being burned and the fences are not so tall that you could not get over it at all so you want to be sure with any size fort that it is not too big so that you don't have enough people to actually man all the walls of the fort to keep enemies away so you want to build it a reasonable size uh, very famously at the Alamo which of course was not this type of fort but still the Alamo was far too big for the number of Texans inside the Alamo and that was one of the reasons one of many reasons why the Mexicans took it in March of 1836. But a well-defended fort that has enough soldiers uh, is able to stand, out pr stand up pretty well against enemy attacks. Um, the other thing about a blockhouse is the blockhouse itself, if the enemies breach the walls, you can retreat into the blockhouse and shut the doors and continue fighting from each of the blockhouses, almost like a keep in an old castle. Of course, the problem is if you retreat into a wooden blockhouse, uh, there's the possibility they eventually burn you out. But uh, if they get that far, you're already in trouble. But unfortunately for the Parkers at this particular fort, when Indians arrived in uh, May of 1836, they had left the front gate open and all the men were outside farming. So if you leave your gate open, uh, it's not going to do you a lot of good, no matter how well you built it for defense. But this kind of gives you an idea of what frontier forts would have been like. 